I can tell you right now, though, we have a we have a lot of, of ideas already for this coming fiesta. We're like, finished here. Let's go. No joke. Uh, we we have already like kind of talked about and, and discovered a lot of different things that we might want to do. We're gonna talk in detail about it and see how it works and everything, but yeah, we have a lot of ideas already. I mean, honestly, Eagle Falcon, that was this year's Fiesta. <laughs> Almost. That was basically this year's Fiesta, or this, this most recent Fiesta, rather. Like, we were actually racking our brain trying to come up with stuff at the end there. Did you see that? And, and honestly, like, it was, like, weeks before the fiesta had to start that we just, like, popped off with some random ideas that just really worked. And we're just like, oh, no, dude, this is awesome. We should go with this, you know? Just out of nowhere, it, it just, like, it really was uh, basically almost a hit, huh? It's just that. It was almost a... Uh, um, we don't know what to do. That's nice. And, and and despite that, I think this what this year's fiesta was the best one yet. Just because like the ideas that we did end up coming up with were really unique, I think. In my opinion, anyway, maybe. Hey, is everyone all right? Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, a lot of people tried to dismiss the the existence of a race once I had my Yasmat issues. You too. And then, you know, you see what happened, right? Group together, friends! I play Monster Hunter World. Yeah, Monster Hunter World's fantastic. Love it. But it's the only Monster Hunter game I played. I don't think I would enjoy any of the others, to be honest. Didn't feel dragged on at all. Yeah, I agree, man. It, it felt like it was just awesome all the way through, you know? Dude, come, come here. That was a considerably powerful enemy. Not really. 
FF7 was fun to do. That was a really good challenge. It felt balanced and fun at the same time. It didn't, it didn't like take away from the game itself. I still had a lot of choices. You know, it's, it's like starting weapons or like, like no materia challenges are not super great because all you do is just auto attack and items and that's it. It just feels like it's boring, you know, just attacking items, attacking items. Ooh, so fun, you know, I, that's, that's the kind of challenge I like to stay away from, you know? That's the kind of challenge I like to stay away from, is, is something that either just requires grinding or takes away any choice, you know? I'm sure somebody has the times, the actual final times. Well, no drawing would mean no summon. We, we wouldn't be able to get the summons, which would be great for like a no GF sort of thing. But then you get like a no ability to name the GFs, you know? So people can't name the GFs and that kind of sucks. Yeah, you could, all, you could do no drawing except for summons. But then when you start to add like, uh, you start to add modifiers to a challenge, it becomes annoying to keep up with. And then you gotta explain it every time you draw a summon. Someone's like, is you not supposed to draw? And you gotta explain it. Listen, this is the fiestas, the rules, blah, 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 blah. You know, a lot of people don't, don't. And then they, and they'll be like, that's just cheating then. You're just getting the good stuff. Who cares? You can card mod all the rest of the they... <laughs> <laughs> Scout ship setting sail. Simple as challenge for a Santa to turn out to be a huge thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, right? We both had totally different Lots strategies for grinding, yeah? Luffy said, do you feel anything here? No. But we've Not seen those now. kinds of flowers throughout the entire place already the whole time. Why are those special? Yep, Salatoma. Is the demon the real reason the Abbey's closed off the forest? Eight has a lot of forced party member parts, Worry though. about it later. It's flower picking time. Seven would be good Agreed. for that. Forced party members. Because you, you pretty much get your whole entourage by nibble on. I hard on the eyes. I mean, who puts those colors together? Yeah, <sighs> they're really nasty looking. But if they help the others, that's good enough for me. This must be the demon we were warned about. Are you all right? I'm okay. So much for this demon being hard to find. Is this the Reaper's curse yet again? We're just getting started. And then it died. The Another end. barrier. That barrier. Even my Praetor hearts can't break that. What's going on here? Why go to such lengths to keep this demon alive? Either way, I don't think we're hauling how many flowers unless we beat up Mr. Bugglesworth here. Right. Everyone, let's do this. Excuse you. No dodging allowed. Fantasizing and help us get rid of it. What are those items that give me like stuff? Nah, no, nah, mm -mm, nope. Where's 
I have seven all enemy skills. I could be okay. I would have to use a guide though. I only know like by heart where about uh, 50 to 70 percent of them are. Well, I mean, all you gotta do is just have it cast on you for Pandora's box. That's not so bad. Just, you know, gotta remember. <laughs> Save it beforehand, kind of thing, you know. Phew! Insect collecting is a sweatier hobby than I thought. No, no one said the times yet. Keep him? No. What the hell, dude? That thing is huge. I'll dispose of it. The Abbey had some reason for protecting it. Maybe we should keep it alive for observation. You want it, you feed it. I will. I'll take care of him. Anyway, now that we've got these flowers, Eleanor and my crew ought to be out of danger. Hey, forgetting somebody? It looks like we've closed the door on this little episode. That insect demon was a bit of a surprise, but I still think this curse business is overblown. <sighs> I can count on one hand how many have survived more than three years at my side. If you're not careful, you might wind up as corpse number 50. 50? She actually looks really That's good with the elf ears, to be I've honest. Lost. Oh, I... I'm sorry. Just saying, don't let your guard down. Right. Now that we've got what we need... We should get back to the ship. Zero experience! Zero experience! How dare you! I wonder what they call this kind of bug. You're way into that thing, aren't you? Uh, yeah, that's exactly it, Aryan. I totally died four times to Yasmat, making myself very frustrated in the process to make it uh, even race. Absolutely, definitely did that. <clears throat> red hair, elf ears. Red hair, elf ears. Red ha hair, elf ears. Hmm. Red hair, wow. elf ears. Red hair, elf ears. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! 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 It's Boob Waifu! <laughs> it's Boob Waifu! She's Jesus freaking... What even, dude? There! She's here! I told you guys! I told you! You were going to be like, holy shit, that is definitely Boob Waifu! I told you to hand out, hold off! And you wouldn't believe me, but now you know! Now you see why it's called Boo Waifu! <laughs> Look, just just walking is like two water balloons being pulled in two directions repeatedly. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it 
you, King of King, for the 46 months resub, dude. Thank you very much. <sighs> yeah. Laffy said, can I ask you a bit of an awkward question? What kind of demon would you say Velvet is? Uh, well... Oh, don't worry. I'm not trying to find a vulnerability or anything. I'm only asking out of curiosity. It's not that I doubt you, Eleanor. I just don't know much about her myself. You fought against her, haven't you? She consumes her enemies with her left hand and claims their power. She's a demon like absolutely no other. Plunk just about any demon down in front of her, and I bet she could devour it. In yeah, a that's what I'm thinking, thought. Arian. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty. You much did that true. stuff half asleep. It would have been really even if it wasn't for that. Devour, turn human again, but. What? You've seen demons turn like, back into humans? The actual experience that we have with one game over another doesn't matter. That's kind of part of the fiesta is that we have strengths and weaknesses. I never once complained that I did the entirety of Crisis Core 100% blind. That was just part of it. I accept, I accepted that. And of course, I got my com ass completely handed to me on Crisis Core. I lost like 20 hours or something like that. And it's fine. That's just part of it, right? Uh, so me having experience with Mystic Quest is not really a, like a, a thing, you know, versus him being somewhat blind to it. Because the game is pretty basic anyway, but that's besides the point. But I totally accept that whole, he was half asleep because he did like a 21-hour stream to finish Mystic Quest after a full stream of Final Fantasy Tactics. So totally valid. Is it that big of a deal? Of course it is. Everyone knows that once you catch Demon Blight, that's it. There's no turning back. Although, I did see it happen with the High Priest Gideon. I wonder if there's some kind of connection. Not that it matters if he turned back. Demon or not, he's dead either way. Whatever it is, it's of no concern to a pirate. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about what's normal. If things were normal, we wouldn't have found each other. You have a point. Sorry I couldn't help, Eleanor. No, you didn't do anything wrong. But I need to keep digging until I find out more about the kind of demon Velvet is. Blagalagalaga Forest. That bug, it looks pretty tough. Yeah, I've been around a long time, but I've never seen anything like it. It must be a new species. Hey. Incredible. I mean, species is what's the rest of my content? Chop liver? Jeez. It. The Lafayette rhinoceros beetle, then? Rhinoceros beetle? Whoa, now, that's a stag beetle if I ever saw one. No, those things may look like pincers, but they're actually horns. A three-horned beetle will cause quite a stir in the bug community. Really? Hey, I know pincers when I see them, and those were some mighty pincers. The Lafayette stag beetle has a better ring to it, right? What part of that sounds better? The whole thing. Stag beetles are the strongest, after all. I can't let that go unchallenged. The rhinoceros is the king of beetledom. Beetledom? More like beetle dumb. <laughs> huh? That doesn't help your case at all. Rokuro, I, I, I feel a dangerous storm brewing. The rhino's a one-trick pony with its horn, but a stag can cut its opponents in half. Its weapons can be used in any situation. The stag is a true swordsman. That's petty trickery. The only beetle with the raw muscle to decide its own fate is the rhino. But they only live for a year. The stag can survive through the winter. They live hard and die young. Is the beauty of such a life lost on you? Why is it that boys get so excited when they talk about bugs? Rhinoceros, stag, or butterfly. It's all no matter to me. They all look like cockroaches. Basically. They're totally different. So, what will you name it? Um, I think Rhino Stagros for now. T okay. <laughs> I wonder how much Googling they had to do for that. Gotta appreciate the effort put in for learning about stag versus rhino beetles, though. Salatoma flowers smell so sweet, like raspberries. Let me smell. Oh, they smell tasty. Do they really taste that bad? 
They lure you in with their scent, but once that flower hits your tongue, its flavor transforms into something dreadful. Dreadful, dreadful like, like how? how? The petals melt into a liquid thousands of times stronger than mint, and the leaves and stem taste richer than the richest beef tongue. The two flavors clash and fizz on your tongue, and your whole body is racked with choking pain. What? Seriously? That's what Ifri told me anyway. It's actually true. That's exactly what it's like. You've tasted it before, haven't you? Is there any way around it? You can squeeze it, boil it, mix it with honey, but nothing gets rid of the taste. Trying to mix it or sweeten it makes it even harder for some to swallow. Have you taken yours? No, <laughs> I'll do it once I'm back on the ship with the pirates. Wait, are you the type that puts off unpleasant tasks? Not at all. I simply cannot be the first to drink it when others are still waiting for us to deliver their doses. You do know that you'll have to drink double the dose after you start displaying the symptoms, right? Are you certain? Quit being so stubborn. It'd be better if you just got it over with. And you've taken your dose? Nah, I don't need to. Having a tethered Moloch drink it is enough to absorb its effects. But to a Moloch, it tastes... Yes, the cuter you are, the worse it tastes. <laughs> it's good to be an exorcist, eh, Eleanor? Do I have to drink it? Uh, of course not. I'll suffer through my own dose of Salatoma. Well, Pooh, how dull. Whew. One, one thing that always kind of, uh, no, 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 so many complaints, right? Uh, like, they do, they do so much work to try and, like, make the world parallel to our own. It's like, you have, uh, the little piggy in the beginning, and they call it, like, a prickle bore or something like that. You know, they try really hard just to have, like, a, like, a, a, a parallel to our world, you know? And then, like, they have cutscenes like this that we just went through that, that like, just, like, shatter the whole idea of trying to pal parallel our world and just go straight up go, it smells like raspberries. And it's like, there's actually not a raspberry item or plant or anything in the entire game ever. It just, it's just like, and they're just trying to relate it to the player. So it's like, it's like a really bad fourth wall break, you know, because it's like, oh, it's raspberries. So you're just trying to give me an impression as a person what it smells like, but there's no raspberry in this world. You know, what was the other thing they said? It's something about, um something else where they were oh the beetles you know red ass or a stag beetle whatever like those don't exist in this world but you know they, they're called something different they're, it's a different world that parallels ours in terms of like things that are similar you know you have wolves and dog kind of things but it's like it doesn't obey its own world building rules that way and it bugs me because i know it's sm small minor stuff it's little tiny things that just i, just, I care because world building's important, you know, it breaks immersion, that kind of stuff. You think there's any chance that wanted Moloch would launch an attack here? Yes, yes, I do. His target's probably Loringen, but stay sharp. Just that is the FF15. Um, might try to break open the bug cage as a diversion. Wanted Moloch. A mono art Loringen? theme stuff. Mm. First, that demon Rex Helovis. Oh, of course, I'll be playing it to the end. I never give up on a game. Not a variety night game. A viewer choice game? Never. Ever. Up messes is our job. So, our Monday, Tuesday games are always 100% for, for sure clear, no matter what, no matter how much I hate it. Uh, otherwise, I've never given up on a game except for Sekiro, which I love Dark Souls, but I thought Sekiro Looks sucked. Like our so, Abby buddies are that's up just to me. Something. And the bug cage. That barrier. So, I, I gave assume. up on that. <laughs> If so, it won't be long before they find out we broke in. Then we should make our exit while we can. No, 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 no. Uh, so the way my content works is uh, we have three games cycling through at any given time. You got um, game one, game two, Game one, game two, game three, game three, and then day off. So my day off is Wednesday. On Tuesday and Saturday, I'm, I've been playing Dragon Warrior 1. Okay, we're almost at the end of that. On uh, Friday and Sunday, it's been Persona 4. 
Viewer choice is games chosen by, by chat with their support. That's Monday, Tuesday. Those are always viewer choice games. So after this one, whatever's the head, the lead on that list, that's what we play. It's pretty much guaranteed to be Breath of Fire 3 because uh, there was a huge amount of support that was given for that game during the Final Fantasy Fiesta, which is another big, huge event we just finished up with. And there's a lot of support that comes in for that. Thank you again very much. I'm very humbled by that. And um, so it's going to pretty much be Breath of Fire 3 unless someone wants to go absolutely bonkers crazy. But <clears throat> that's our Monday and Tuesday game and how they are chosen. Uh, as far as Star Ocean 1 goes, that'll be sometime whenever I feel like it on our uh, game one, game two list. I will tell you, though, that right now, Persona 4 was supposed to be Symphony of the Night, but the discs didn't work, so we had to go with the next game. Uh, Dragon Quest games, Yakuza games are all on that pile of, of things that I want to do for that list. When Star Ocean 1 comes up is kind of... who knows? Yeah, I can tell you right now, though, that when I finish Dragon Warrior 1, I'm more than likely going to be playing Symphony of the Night if my discs start working, or if I repair them, or whatever, replace, whatever is needed. Uh, and then after that, who knows? Star Ocean 1, maybe. Uh, Dragon Warrior 2, I don't know. Yakuza Kiwami 2, maybe. It's one of those. Whatever whatever strikes my fancy. Those are my choices, my games that I want to play. That also includes new games, you know, new releases and stuff like that as well. Like, for instance, when the Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out, I'm dropping everything. Everything is being put on hold, and we're going to devour the ever-living shit out of that game. Which Star Wars 1? SNES. I was given a SNES repro cart with a uh, translation patch applied. So it's actual cart and of course actual hardware. Uh, Star Ocean 1. Gonna be fun. I'm really excited for that. But you know, there's a lot of things I'm excited for, so who knows when we get to it. Symphony of the Night is the one I was really bummed out that we had to we had to push it back. How actual is the hardware? Uh, it's on an SNES, so it's being loaded into SNES memory and played off of an SNES sound chip and etc. 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 So that's SNES. That's hardware. Actually, you know what? You know what? As uh, as Dita uh, as Dita SNES is or, or EverDrive or something like that. When you play EverDrive, you're actually loading the games like the, the 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 ROM into the game's memory and playing it right off the SNES. It's like 99.9999999% accurate. It's the most accurate you can get without actually having the the the, the game. So, you know, Repro Cart pretty close to that as well. Uh, see, I'm not that person though, Code Kaiser. I'm the po I'm the person that warns people of over expectation. You know, like I, I already know it's going to be a totally different game. I already know it's gonna. It, there's a lot of overhype for it. I already know there's there's going to be this uh this this desire that it's just HD FF7. I, I don't. That's not me. I don't do that. I I'm the person that warns people to not have over expectation. So, you can expect to get a very impartial playthrough and rating of the Final Fantasy Remake here. You heard the remake cures cancer? Sweet. Well, I'm looking forward to that then. Convince that it'll suck no matter what, so they've already counted it as bad before it's even released. Yep! There are definitely people that are just like square haters or whatever, and you know, it's, it can't possibly compare to the original or whatever. They, they they just get they get this whole idea in their head like, ugh, you know, remake, we don't need this, give us a new game, or you know, let's remake a better one, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Some kind of irrelevant detail that doesn't actually matter in terms of how good the game actually is and they've they've already got it stuck in their head that they're they hate it and nothing can can be done to change that they they, they hate it already you know the end so whatever <laughs> 